Hi, my name is Spencer. A lot of you might know me as Island Dog throughout the various communities. Today, I wanted to talk about Tweak Vista from Stardock. Now, Tweak Vista is an application that allows you to uh, tweak and adjust various settings, uh, various system settings in Windows Vista. As you can see over here, we have you know uh, settings for startup, resources, services, security, display, power, assessment, internet, goes on and on. Tweak Vista is a great program for uh, power users and, and for people who aren't very familiar with changing their system settings in Windows. While there's a lot of things we can cover in Tweak Vista, today I wanted to focus on one of my personal favorite features, which is the uh, services. So we'll just click the services menu here. And, you know, the services in Windows, there's over 100 of them in Windows Vista, and they run in the background, and, and a lot of them you don't need. Some people might not be comfortable with changing them manually, so Tweak Vista is the perfect application to change those. Now, as you see here, there's a bunch of user profiles already set up. Um, the standard background services, which is just pretty much everything running as normal. Um, you can select this one if you want to save as much memory. Uh, if you're a gamer, you can reduce some of the things in the background. Or uh, if you're using it as a server, you can uh, eliminate a lot of the graphic things. Or media center. Or what I'm going to do is here is make my own selections. So since I'm going to select my own uh, services, we'll just make sure this is set and then we'll click the features tab. And as you can see, here's a bunch of the services here. Now a lot of people might not know what services, what they do, what they're for. Well, if you just simply mouse over, you'll get a little menu that pops up that, that gives you a pretty good description. And sometimes a recommendation on whether you should enable or disable. Like for here, for example, the tablet input. This isn't a tablet PC, and I don't have any graphics tablets, so I don't, you know, I don't need this service running. So we'll just simply uncheck it. It'll give you a little warning. Just click OK, and that's it. And that service won't run anymore. There's all types of other services here. You can disable themes. You can disable the DWM, um, error reporting. You know, there's all kinds of things. And what you want to disable or enable, it, it depends on your systems, your wants, and your needs. But it's just a really safe way to change them because you, if you need to enable that support, you just click it back and, and it'll turn on. Now we can move over to the advanced tab for a minute, and this is going to show all the services that we have going. Now to start with, we'll take this example here. Is this the Acronis scheduler? <clears throat> and down here, once you click, it'll, down here will give you a, uh, a brief description, which is this is for uh, task scheduling for Acronis. Now, if I want to stop the service for whatever reason, I can just do it from here, or and I can restart it, and I can also set it for automatic to delayed start, to manually start it, or just dis disable it entirely. There's some services you might need to disable for you know certain applications or certain things you're working on. Going in and doing it manually, Windows doesn't make it that friendly or that you know they don't give a lot of explanations. So Tweak Vista has a really nice way of organizing it. It makes it easy for anybody to uh, manage your services. So for more info about Tweak Vista, you can visit uh, www.tweakvista.net. There you can uh, download a version to check out. And in uh, upcoming uh, screencasts, we'll cover some of the other features.